Today, I'm going to teach you the two things you need to do before anybody can help you with your fall protection equipment. My name is Kevin Muldoon, Product Manager for Fall Protection and Engineered Lifeline Systems for the Mozilla Companies. Today I'm going to teach you two things that you need to do before you select any fall protection equipment, and that's a JSA and a height assessment. And those two have to be done before you can do any selecting of fall protection equipment. First, I want to talk about a JSA, a job safety analysis. What is that? It's how you do what you do safely. You're competent at your jobs, otherwise you wouldn't be doing them. And a JSA, simply put, is the task that you are doing and how those tasks are performed safely in a written form. Step-by-step -step analysis of how your team, more than one, it could be just you, it could be more than one, but your team and how you're going to perform your work safely at the beginning of the shift all the way down to the end of the shift. And these tasks are just simply put. And that person that fills that job site out can be the job site lead, and that leader has the ability to stop work, to actually move the team around because of different competencies that may be in the job, and also the PPE that may need be, to be required to do that job. There should be a time limit or a time bound put on the form, the date, the time is the first shift, second shift, third shift. In addition, the JSA should consider inspections, permits, or anything that might stop the job. Really, it's a comprehensive way for anybody to read it and know exactly what you're doing and how you're doing it safely. Next, we're gonna talk about the working and height risk assessment form. And this is a little bit different than the JSA because this focuses on the risk at height. So who can fill out the working at height risk assessment form? It should be an experienced worker, somebody that knows the scope of the job and most of the tasks, if not all the tasks of the job associated. When you are filling this form out and you're considering the hazards, remember, you're working at height. Other hazards may be chemicals, the weather, uh, overlapping work zones. There may be other people on the job site that could affect your performance and you need to find out what those are. It could be as, as trivial as, well that only happens once a month. Well, you write it down because it might be the end of the month or the first of the month and that likelihood of that occurrence could happen. So don't limit yourself by not filling the form out completely. Now that you've completed your JSA and you're working at height risk assessment, you are now ready to talk to a third party provider. Having this information can prepare you to have a relevant conversation about fall protection and selecting the correct fall protection equipment for your job. If you have any questions whatsoever or you have any trouble understanding a quote that you were given, please reach out to Mozilla Companies. We'll be more than happy to help you with any questions you might have. Thank you. <music>